Okay, so we are back, and we actually, um, we, as you can see, I've done apps. I've done nothing. I've done nothing but collect berries for food and nothing else but that. So we actually need to level up our movement speed because movement speed is the movement speed that is needed to outrun raptors is 112, and raptors are going to be a big problem at level at low le at a low level. So yeah, so we're just going to be leveling up. We're also going to be saving up for a campfire because campfires give you cooked meat. And cooked meat uh, actually regenerates your health when you are hurt. So that's going to be a good, a great thing because in hard mode, everything does a lot more damage and you take a lot more damage. So we're going to be needing that cooked meat. Sorry, I just have to make sure that the volume is down low enough so you can hear my voice. But this is me from the future because I found out that still, even though I had the volume at like 25%, the volume was way louder than my voice, so I had to make the volume way down during editing phase. But that's fine. I'm okay with doing voiceover. This entire rest of the video is just going to be me voicing over because it's too loud. <laughs> Okay, so, I do know the map kind of well, and uh, here you see I was trying to cross the river, but those piranhas were there, so I couldn't, because they were just eating me alive. But, during the I when I logged into this, I spawned in a random area, and I had no idea where I was, because it was night and I couldn't see, so I know where I, I kind of know where I am at this point, but I can't really... Uh, do anything about it because there's piranhas and they're just gonna like eat me alive as you can see here I try to cross but it's just too dangerous because one I'm cold and I'm gonna get freezing and two there's piranhas in this water and it says I've entered a dangerous area and I kind of know the area and there's a swamp nearby so I was probably like oh probably capros or titanoboas something so, I'm just going to go out of here and try and find a way around somewhere else. And here you can actually see that I'm struggling very much to kill this one piranha. And then I, w I get out of the water and I'm like, alright, well, I'm not doing that, so I'm going to go around. <laughs> But you'll notice as soon as I get cooked food, uh, you won't have to listen to that annoying eating sound when you eat berries because cooked food gives so much more hunger than, uh, that, uh, than berries do. So this is where I'm trying to figure out, because I kind of have been this here before, as you can see, most of the map is filled up. But that's just from the, that time I was in a boat and I just went around. Now this is where I kind of make a base up here a little bit. Uh, but as I'm doing this, I guess I'll just cut to when we have like campfire and a little bit of food. Okay, I thought I would leave this in because it's a little bit funny. I decided to attack a moss chops and it ran off the edge. <laughs> And before 
during recording, I was like, uh, ha ha, you fell, only idiots will fall down there. I bet I'll regret that later. Well, I, I regretted that a lot. The big, yeah. Okay, now that I have some food, we're going to be going, we're going to go, uh, find a place to start, set up a camp. Uh, but since there's a swamp here and there's a lot of sarcos and titanoboas, uh, we have to be really, really, really careful and find a place that is really safe and not jump down there. But at least now we know that, uh... Landing in water prevents your, you from fall damage, at least a little bit. And this this compy needs to go. And I don't know why, but this game has trouble. I can't really harvest compies. But, yeah, we're just gonna go. Um, luckily there was a path back up, so from when I fell, I found a path. Um, but we're gonna go try and tame a parasaur. A parasaur, because parasaurs will give me... They'll basically just be a backpack because they have a lot more weight than I do. And I know I just probably leveled up weight. I didn't really see. Because, of course, this is a voiceover. That was kind of dumb of me not to check. But we're almost out able to outrun raptors, so that's great. Um, All we really need to do is get water. Not go near that dilo. Because even though it might be a low level, I don't have the greatest amount of fortitude or health. And fortitude, I think it makes stamina go down slower. It makes you resistant to the cold and heat a little bit more. And it makes your hunger and thirst go down a lot less and you take less damage. I'm pretty sure that's what the fortitude is. I'm not sure we're going to have to level that up. And let's make a stone hatchet. And that parasaur up there, no, not that one, uh, we're gonna go tame a parasaur now. After we first get a little bit of flint and stone because we're gonna need campfire and bed because I know I have a campfire up there, but that's too far of a run. And the parasaur might wake up if we knock one out, so we need to go and get some uh, stone and stuff to make a campfire. Another one, yeah, I know. It's fine, they decay in seven days, it's fine. So that one is level 110 and this one's level 50, so we're gonna go for this guy. He's level 110. He's gonna be a pain to beat down because I have always, whenever I try and get parasaurs, I have no stamina and I had to par repair my like bat thing like eight times during the process and they always run away. I try and hurt. Especially towards the water. I try to herd them away from the water, but they usually they usually get uh, Stuck in the water Where I can't reach them and then yeah Also across the water. There's like sarcos. So I I'm, if it runs towards the water. I'm just gonna give up But we should bring him down to around He should be at, at around 300 health by the time it gets knocked out as you can see, I already need to repair my, uh, ah, uh, I already need to repair my club, so, yeah. But, this is great, because all I need to do now is just beat him to death. I know, I'm just, such a nice way to tame an animal, just beat it down until it's unconscious. And then you feed it food, and it's like, I love you now. That's always, that's great. Again, I need to repair my stupid club. So, that's great. That's great. Yeah, that's great. And again, I need to repair it. But by now, it's probably good enough. I can just punch it to death. I mean, not to death, but I could knock it out by punching it now, probably. Five years later... And 
there we go. Parasaur acquired. I will see you guys when he is all tamed up. Or she, I think it's a she. It is female, yes, it's female. See you when she is tamed up. And here we go. Parasaur acquired. And he went from level 110 to level 148. He gained 38 levels, so that's pretty great. Uh, as you can see, I set up a campfire and a uh, a bed, and we're about to get going. As you can see, he's just a weight train. He's got 454 weight, and I've only got 102. So he's just going to be giving me everything holding everything that I have that I need that's important and we're gonna, just gonna go find a place once it becomes light enough for us to go out we're gonna go find a place to um, go and can't, for, can't forget the sleeping bag because if we leave the sleeping bag then that means uh, yeah cuz uh, we're gonna need it and you'll see that in a little bit, if my if I hadn't had that sleep, if I had not picked up that sleeping bag, the video would probably have been over. Not gonna lie. But then again, I almost forgot it again when I put it down again. So, fun. All right, now that's a little bit lighter and we can see more. I don't know why I'm still holding my torch. But we're gonna go get going. We're going to go get going. That's the weirdest thing I've ever said. But we're putting him on low follow distance because lowest follow distance for now. Till I see that that's way too close. Uh, that so we need to put him on low because he's gonna get stuck. And you'll see that a lot because he's pretty big and he's pretty dumb, dummy thick. But, yeah, again, uh, we're in the southern region of the area. If you want, I'm just saying this, so if you, if you guys want to come and join my tribe, you can find me. And, yeah, I am not the drawing dinosaur. My name would be, uh, my name is Raptor Jesus. I am Raptor Jesus, yay. What are those parasaurs running from? What? What? Oh, they're running from that Dilo. Seriously? Wow. They are really big Friday cats. Oh god, he's got 702 health. Oh god, that is not good. That is not good. Parasaur, help me, please. Help, help, help. Why aren't you doing anything? Oh my god, the Parasaur is so dumb. It's not even... It's not trying... It's... Do I have to let it... Do I have to let the Dilo hit me? Alright, alright, good. Good, assist. Oh god, I'm blind. Oh god, I can't see. Parasaur, please. There, okay, I can see. Uh, oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I'm gonna die. You see, this is why the sleeping bag is handy. Because I'm probably gonna die. So I just need to respawn. Also, I found if you... Usually you can only respawn from sleeping bags once. But if you respawn at it, pick it up and put it down again, you can respawn again at it. So that's actually a really good tactic. See, I never I was like, "Hmm, that might work." And it did. So now we have all my stuff. And per and Dilophosaur defeated. Dilophosaur level 140. That would have been a good tame, but way too hard to tame because I probably would have been dead like eight times. That's great. 
Um, and cannibalism. And I'm gonna, I should probably put my meat in the parasaur because everything lasts longer in a tame dinosaur than it does in your uh, inventory. So, I should, but I don't here, but, anyways, we're going to go cut until I can find a nice place to start setting up camp. Okay, so I found a place, but I'm just going to kill myself, because I just, where I am living right now, it's just, it's just not fun, because the water is so far away. So I have enough movement speed to outrun raptors. So what I'm just gonna do is level up my thirst. Uh, but yeah, I only need to do is level up my thirst. And thirst is cause, cause thirst is gonna be a big problem. So I just killed myself with the fire. I you know, yeah. Put everything on my parasaur and killed myself with the fire. However. The only bad part about this is my my house. I'm, once I get wooden stuff, I'm building my house in a flatter area because it's gonna bug me to death. Because this this is just a first house, you know. However, uh, it is not completely flat. Part of the foundations are, as you can see right there. Part of the foundations are slightly more elevated than the rest, but it's what I have to live with. So I'm gonna finish building the walls and then we can end the video. Okay, so I actually wasn't planning on ending the video like that, uh, but this is the close to the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Until next time, I will see you all later. Bye bye.